Hello, fancy seeing all of you here. We are doing a baby fall clothing haul and we're doing Shein, not sponsored. You can just rest assured this channel is just not sponsored. I will always tell you if it ever is. Uh, but we are doing tomorrow fall pictures and P.S. I'm gonna get distracted. There is uh, our yard, part of it is being cut up right now because uh, the last owner had a long time ago a koi fish pond and it has since become a dead bush and a ton of other plants um, that are also dead just like a decaying area that is on the side of our house so that's being like ripped up i 50 percent thought they would find a dead body under there so far they haven't yet so that's good news there's just some weird things this house had in it where i'm like what happened here? Uh, but no, that's going really well, but you are going to hear that. And then for some reason, they're doing stuff also on the street right now. There's a lot of trucks surrounding our house, so you're just going to hear stuff. Um, but yeah, we're doing a Shein baby clothing haul. What I have found is that it's very hard to find baby clothes that aren't crazy expensive. Like even on Old Navy, I had a whole outfit in my car and a 30% off coupon and all that. And it was $89 for just like one outfit and then I'm normally like I don't want to do fast fashion but on Shein I found a whole outfit for like 15 bucks so that's why that's what I got for him typically I go to Goodwill and find outfits but because it was pictures and I wanted him to coordinate uh with like Randall and I, I, I went ahead and bought him stuff, like specifically like new stuff. I just hate the idea of spending a ton of money on something he's gonna wear once, you know, which is why he doesn't ever, we don't get him outfits and like cutesy things, but we did today and he's gonna do a try on. He loves try on clothes. You will see, he gets so excited. I don't know if it's like a reflex in him when like he's getting changed that makes him so happy, but he loves it. Also, he's wearing his Halloween PJs. His grandma got that for him. And it's gonna be, I think our trick or treat is on Saturday. So I'm excited, he's gonna be an avocado. I'll post photos on Instagram, I'm sure. Okay, let's let's go through. I'm gonna go through and show you everything. And I will have it linked down below if you're um, interested. I don't think anything was over like 10 or $12 in this. So the first thing, and this is what I think when I have them in tomorrow, uh, it's going to be rainy tomorrow, which is unfortunate, but I think at the moment it's not going to rain while we're doing photos. Um, but a sweat outfit. So it kind of has like a Burberry feel to it. I'm sure that's what they were <laughs> like scamming off of. Uh, but you know, plaid, you, you can't really like copyright that. So this little black sweatshirt and then matching black sweatpants. He is five months now and he's in six to nines. Um, they're gonna be a little long on him, but I can always cuff and roll them. So this is the first outfit and what I think I want him in. I didn't know how cold it would be because I bought these a couple months ago for him. Um, and end of October could be like snowing, it could be anything. Uh, but tomorrow I think it's only gonna be like mid 50s. I bought a couple outer layers. So mm -hmm. this is, this has to be the cutest thing ever. I think this was like 12, I think this might've been the most expensive thing. And that is a little baby denim jacket. And I'm gonna tell you the quality is so good on this compared to like, even when I was at Cools feeling stuff, some of their stuff did not feel even near this good and it was twice as much. So this could be something we put over him depending how hot or cold it is. Uh, oh, I love that. I really wanted to get Randall a matching one, but I couldn't find one. I think what he's gonna wear is jeans and a brown sweatshirt and what I'm gonna wear is I have no idea, so. I, two days ago started, because you know, uh, I, I don't buy stuff for myself anymore because I don't, just like I don't feel like my sense of style for myself is very good at the moment. Uh, so I don't want to buy anything because I don't really like anything. <laughs> weird and I just I try on my stuff and realize like most of it doesn't fit imagine that like on the bottom portions uh, so I'm still working on that I bought 
a dress from TJ Maxx yesterday. I saw the tags on it because I don't know if I'm actually gonna wear it. Um, another outer layer is this cute little vest. He might wear this tomorrow. I don't know when we're putting stuff on, we might see. Uh, again, puffer vest quality. It feels really good. It feels like there's like down feathers in them. There might be, I'm not sure. I'm getting hot. Are you, BB? Oh, probably not. It's a lady walking. Or not walking, uh, driving by real slow, looking through the windows. I know the ring light's shining pretty bright right now. <laughs> you are so cute. You are so. Are you so excited to try this stuff on? So yeah, I might put that. I'll probably bring both of them and just, and maybe I'll have her do photos of him, and then we can take them off because they're so cute. And then for shoes, baby shoes are not necessary, especially because he's not walking. But obviously I wanted to complete the outfit. I think these were like four or five bucks. Uh, they definitely aren't uh, quality wise. These are the worst quality out of everything. They're, they look like they were gonna be faux leather and instead they're like, just like cotton. <laughs> really flimsy, but again, he doesn't walk. So they're literally just for show, uh, but they match the sweat outfit. So he's definitely wearing them. I hope your feet, I even, <gasps> it's been a few months. I don't know if his feet are gonna fit. He has big feet. Oh no, Bubba, mommy might have made a bad mistake. I don't know if they're gonna fit. They might be too small. Um, and then we got him some hats. It was a three pack for four or something. <sighs> I hope this fits. He has a big head because he was a breech baby, which means his head was just, I mean, he was a 97th percentile head size when he came out because he spent all of his, like literally never went upside down at all in my womb. So his head just formed and never got like squished. <laughs> but we have three colors. We have white, we have black, and we have tan. I'm hoping to get a couple pictures in one of them. I also try to get Ma Randall a match in one of those, but he doesn't wear beanies and he wasn't having it. I was like, well, I never these are your photos too. I want you to be comfy. His style, literally, like, if, if he does, an everyday wear is just, like, uh, anything you can get from Dick's Sporting Goods, and he'll like it. I don't think he has anything other than Dick's Sporting Goods. We went to Von Mar one time. If you guys know what that is, it's just, like, a department store. I got him a couple, like, fancy shirts, but he only wears that to, like, weddings and funerals. So, that's the nicest thing he has. Okay, and then lastly, we have another two-piece outfit. I love the coordinating outfit. I think they're so cute. But this is the softest material. It's just a knit sweater. It is, why are you so fidgety? It's the cutest thing thing. So we have this and then the matching pants. I don't know, I still might put him in this for tomorrow. We're gonna try these on. I'm gonna show you B-roll. Obviously, you're gonna see everything on him. Um, and then I guess you guys will find out probably in a couple weeks what we ended up going with. Because I'm sure I will show them at some point in here. And I think that's all we're going to have for today, right, baby? So let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions for where you get baby clothes when you're doing stuff like this. Uh, because like I said, typically I just go to Goodwill and get him stuff. And then obviously his grandparents sometimes will get him things too. Um, but normally we don't go and buy like new stuff. So if you have any tips on where to get cheaper new clothes, leave that in the comments below. And we love you and we'll see you soon. Say bye. Bye.